at the chop shop yesterday was saying just across the border mm. there was an incident where they um, cut this person's head off mm. and they put a pig's head mm. on the person's head and on his body yeah yeah, yeah a pig's on head his, on his body yeah and yeah. hung it off a bridge mm. but then the pig and uh, then the person's head they went and stuck it on a stake at a kid's school really yeah oh, at, at, at the chop shop <laughs> well, it's not that bad. <laughs> Did the guy die? I don't think he had a pig head transplant. <laughs> That's what you're wondering. <laughs> no, he might not have died. I mean, shit. How can it? How hard can it be if your head gets cut off? Doesn't mean you have to die. Morning. Morning, Jason. Are you going to get the coffee? Yeah. I have white one and a half. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, listen yeah. up. If there's two sugars in there, yeah. right? I will not be fucking happy. Oh. And I'll know. Okay, you want two sugars then? <laughs> what are you laughing for? I don't know. I'll be, I'll be tasting it, mm. and if I taste two sugars, yeah. trust me. Okay. Shit will be going down. Okay. I forgot we've been accused, I've been accused of um, acting and, and scripting stuff. Sorry, Yuri. Three, two, one, and action! David. No, 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 you got to get back here. David, you go and get me coffee, you bitch. And I have two sugars. Uh, no, you didn't, no, you dickhead. Sorry, 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 sorry. Fucking go sorry, back okay, to the okay, script. Okay, sorry, sorry, Read the sorry, script. Sorry, sorry. And Remember your shut lines. Up, sorry, sorry. Action! David, you bitch. I gave you a coffee. One and a half sugars, and I'll tell you what, if I taste one grain, one fucking grain, <laughs> more than one and a half sugars, yeah. it's gonna be bad. I'll throw out that fucking window. I understand. <laughs> Can you tell production crew at the front, just, do you wanna get them one's one? Well, the, I've gotta go down and see the mechanics, make sure they'll yeah. service the bikes overnight. Yeah, 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 and get the production crew, because they're, um, because those guys have been up all night. Um, who else? Oh, well, the guys that they're trailering the bikes into the desert today. Yeah. We're going to fly in by chopper. Yeah. Um, to the hotel. Um, and they're going to CGI. You don't know this. But they're going to green screen it. So they're going to CGI us on the motorbike. So the footage you see today. Back in Australia. So, so, so we've got to hold it. Hold, we've got to actually. So we kind of don't actually have to no, believe. No, no. We've just got to do like. this. We've just got to do this. We've just got to do this all day long. Yeah. And they'll CGI a motorbike under us like that, riding through the desert. Oh man, that sounds so much. I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll be in an air conditioned room. So we don't need to go to Chiki Doana. Chihuahua. Chihuahua. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chiki Chihuahua. Yeah, yeah. Say good day to the production guys. Work. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah, well, what about staging and lighting? Are they going to come in and do our makeup? Uh, fuck it. Don't bring staging lighting in yet because. Okay. Alright, alright. I'll call past the mechanics and just make just sure. Just make sure the bikes, yeah. yeah. Get into putting the new motor on mine. Oh, I motor. want a new screen on mine yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but um, makeup, when they put all that dirt on my face yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you get so many coffees? Hey, Action! David, why did you get so many coffees? I didn't really sleep that well, so I needed some fuel. It's actually not bad, yes, is it? Sir. Production have gotten better at making it. Don't you hear him? The, the coffee person. But um, I'll, I'll let it this out. Obviously, you edit stuff to, like this out. But oh, production guys, when you're in the editing room um, tonight, well done. Thanks for the coffee. Do you reckon they could have that out in 30 minutes? What, the vlog? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just slap the vlog together. But they'll vlog it. Well, there's, mate, that's a team of 14 of them. For fuck's sake. How hard is it? So today's the day we crossed to Chihuahua. At the chop shop yesterday. Was saying just across the border, mm. there was an incident where they um, cut this person's head off, mm. and they put a pig's head mm. on the person's head, and on his body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A pig's on head his, on his body. Yeah, and yeah. hung it off a bridge. Mm. But then the pig, uh, then the person's head, they went and stuck it on a stake at a kid's school. No, he might not have died. I mean, shit. How can it? How hard can it be if your head gets cut off? Doesn't mean you have to die. Mm. Ah, I love Mexico. Oh, far out. What are we doing? 
memories like the fall of ocean snow I walked around the block at my local school and thought about my life so as you know we're going deep into Mexico today um, I've got about $1,200 um, which I'm hiding um, in my boots which stay there it's probably maybe three or four hundred dollars here I carry that in my wallet so if I do get robbed or if the cops give me a hard time or whatever I can just hand over some money and get the hell out of there so hidden stash of about twelve thirteen fourteen hundred dollars US and Australian probably three or four hundred dollars on me which hopefully can get me out of trouble and that way I don't lose all my money I think that's just smart Where's your money? What have you got? Oh. Uh, what, 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 what's in your shoe though? You say you got that to carry on, yeah? Yeah. How much is that? Oh, that's six dollars. Yeah. And then I've just got my Aussie in there. How much is that? Six, six. Six thousand dollars. How's that Australian working for you? Mexico might hand them that over. Should, yeah, um, they'll love that. Going really well. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Just walk to there, a couple of meters, because then we'll get the production crew to grab the rest, yeah? yeah. You just walk there, leave it there. Can we get, get the bags, guys? Yes. Get the bags. Just walk to the lift, because we've got nothing. Yeah, bring it down, mate. Yeah, thanks, Gonzo. On you, Gonzo. Gonzo, I'll get it. Hey, senorita. Oh, you've got a dog. Yes. Can I video your dog? Can what I video, that? can I put your dog on my GoPro? Sure. What's your dog's name? His name is Nacho. Oh, Nacho. Hi. oh you can eat nachos. Yes, <laughs> but not this one. <laughs> hi, Nacho. You're gorgeous. How old? He's two. Oh, he's older. Oh, he's not yeah, a baby he's not a baby anymore. He's, he's but just he's little. Still small. He's just little. Oh, mm -hmm. Gorgeous. I had a um, a bulldog, and I crossed it with a Shih Tzu. Oh wow! Have you heard of that? Uh, I that breed? Actually. Yeah, it's, the breed was called a bullshit. Yeah, I know. That's a <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke, yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, see ya. Bye. So we're just walking to our bikes to this highly secure compound, which we paid about 50 US dollars for. Have you got the code to get in? <laughs> yeah, I've got the code. Yeah. And I just gotta be careful because the cameras or video is going in. Yeah. The guarded compound, this will be very hard. Use your, use your key to get in, David. Here we go. Yeah. And go. Boop, 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 boop. Scan. Retina check. <laughs> Access tonight. Oh, wait on. Wrong way. Wrong way. shot yesterday. Wrong way. Ah, look. It's open. Look at that. Oh, let's wow. go in. We can go in. So secure. Look at the chopper flying above just to keep an eye on everything. So, look how guarded it is. Alrighty, let's get this thing unlocked. Two things are a, two things are a must for any motorbike vlogger is zip ties, which I've got, and black duct tape. It's all about storage on a bike. Done. And safe. As you can see that's really sharp there. And that could bounce and hit the, the tire. Because you don't want it to look aesthetically shit, you want it to look good, right? Because it's a Hartley. You'll notice the detail, line that up like that. So this will be like a spray job now. And people will think that that's been sprayed on. One second. You'll notice how clean it's all coming together now. And that's how you get to fold it under like that. This is what I call a poor man's Harley Davidson paint job. But, look at that, that there. That is perfect. All right, let's go get our bags. So 
Seriously, how good is that? Have I said that enough? That it is. It, it works. It's a quarter to 9 a.m. It's already over 30 degrees in Texas. Ready to roll? Not really. Let's do it. Let's go. Start her up. What, you, you kick the tires and you might laugh, but I tell you what, you know when they're flat. Um, back one's rock hard, let's go. It is hot, it's real hot. 31 degrees and it's 10 to 9 in the morning. Welcome to Texas. I love riding in the mornings, it's just, it's nice, you're refreshed, you're not worn out. Just Harley Davidson. Well, it's definitely large that now that we're here. <laughs> well, I can say this is the biggest Harley Davidson dealership I've been in by a mile. It is massive. Holy shit. I'm buying this. leaving Barnett's Harley Davidson. It's always confronting to see people walking around with guns strapped to them. Obviously in Texas they don't need to be concealed. Um, you know, big fat guys that just walking around like, I just don't know, I just don't know, I just don't think it's necessary. I mean, I know I'm not gonna be popular with Americans by saying this, but I just think having guns strapped to you and a couple of the salespeople were saying things like you're crazy for going into Mexico. A couple of guys said they wouldn't even go to New York, it's so dangerous. Um, it's like, not everybody, but some people, they're just caught in this bubble and there's a whole world out there to be explored, you know? I'm sure people wouldn't go to Australia because of the crocodiles and redback spiders and sharks that will eat you. You know, it's all sort of getting, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of fear. You know, people are full of fear. And um, I guess if you've got a gun strapped to you, you can eliminate that fear, you know, but I've never had the need to have a gun strapped to me. And I've done lots of fearful things, you know. I'd rather walk away than, than have a gun shootout, you know, that's just, I've never felt the need ever to protect myself. We'll see what happens in Mexico though. Okay, we're gonna head to the servo, then we're gonna go to the border, then we're gonna go to Chihuahua, let's go. Just um, put these rock straps just as extra bounce because it's bouncing around it's so top heavy. There's so much weight in this thing, but um, just because might be travelling at speed today through Mexico, I don't want that bouncing off. Just extra security, which um, I think is just smart. So that is not going anywhere. <laughs> rock solid. Okay, we both have full tanks of fuel. We're just gonna grab something to eat, then we're gonna cross the border and head straight to the Sheridan in Chihuahua. So this is our route today. We're at El Paso, got across the border and Chihuahua. So straight down um, four hours, 370 kilometers, arrival 226. So not a big day, um, but hopefully an uneventful day. Um, all going good, I can stop and get some really cool drone footage, um, just depends how I'm feeling, um, but it's all about risk equals reward, I'm not a fucking idiot, 
um, I'm not an idiot so um, it's all about using common sense and and just you know being sensible we're traveling at the right time of day which is good so how are you feeling I'm gonna say slightly stressed slightly I'm fucking petrified no are you seriously yeah why I don't know. You know why? You have to listen to all the hype, mate. Yeah. Listen to those guys. My anxiety's just got through the roof. You've read, you've read everything that's online. No, I haven't. I only read, I'm read thinking, last night. Yeah. What, what did it say? No, what did it say? Oh, I've blocked it out of my mind. I what can't did, remember. What did it say? It said, fucking don't go to chicka chicka wow wow chihuahua um, because you'll probably get murdered, yeah, carjackings, um, yeah, all that common stuff. And then it says if you have to travel, these are the precautions you take, yeah? Mm. Yeah. Stay in the tourist areas, don't leave your resort, travel don't ride don't ride at night. All the stuff that we're doing. So but I just want to be clear, I'm not forcing you to do this, you've got young kids. Oh no, no, I understand this. Yeah, yeah. you've got young Thank kids. You. Yeah. 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 There's I mean look you follow Camilla Watch tomorrow, there's more chance yeah. of that. Yeah. What I know is I know that negativity is so powerful and news, sensationalistic negative news, trauma, drama, beheadings, chainsaw, head cutting off, heads on sticks, a story um, is so powerful and um, yeah, I've had no reason at this point to fear all I've ever had in Mexico has been very kind people. Um, and absolutely no reason to be scared. The only fear I've had is when I've been alone on those highways, seeing those crosses, but that's my own head, you know, thinking about all the stuff I've seen on YouTube and read. Look, I've done my research, you know what I'm saying? You've got to stay safe. So I think, you know, I'm trying to minimize everything. Um, so anyway. As I walk through the shadow of the Valley of Death, there's a plan, anything suspicious, any trucks, any cars that are following, we just get the fuck out of there. We do not stop until we get to a town or find the police or something safe, we just fucking ride. I'd rather die riding than fucking have someone kidnap me and have me in a cage or, or use me for ransom, yeah? That's the deal, we just keep riding, yeah? Yep. We both can ride, we can outride fucking anyone, let's go. Just getting close to the border, just read a big sign that said it's illegal to carry ammunition or arms into Mexico. Um, the fine is imprisonment. There's a border here. Shit. You can see the um, border wall. Other side is Mexico. You just want to actually get on the road. How do you feel? Yeah, I just want to get on the road and just, yeah. just absolutely cane it. <laughs> cane the bike? Yeah. Get to two hours as quick as possible. We have we're not going to drift apart, we're going to stick within sort of about 10 metres of each other and just probably sit on 140, 150 and just, just hammer it through J Chihuahua. Okay, we're at the border. Pay some money. Hola. Just, uh, just for two bikes. Uh, $30, US. Or you want to pay in Basel, that's $100. No, no, no.
Cassis. Und hier. Pack die vorne ein bisschen. Okay, we're right. Jesus, that's the roads. Okay, we're good. 